I have never before in 6,000 videos ever even been slightly compelled to make a video like this before, but I have to tell you something. I've made a total of three primary videos about the nature of 5G technology, and they're actually quite popular, and I really didn't want to make them to begin with, but a lot of people actually asked me to make them. I went to bed last night at 4 a.m. I got up today about 10.20 a.m. And I read every comment. I have been now for countless years. I go through all of them. Sometimes there'll be like some spammer that will like repeat the same thing over and over again. And YouTube's algorithms actually notice this. And what it'll do is it'll stick it into a spam column and then I have to look at them. I saw something this morning like I've never seen before. And I'm gonna tell you right now that superficially you might think that this is conspiratorial but let me tell you what was posted and it's extremely fascinating because i'm one that has an analytical mind that's always looking at you know the facts of things and also too i've said for countless years one of the most amazing tools is that you can tell more about what someone doesn't say than what they do say and also to the manner in which they actually apply it one person and i check their account and i've i've now blocked them who just started up a YouTube account uh, only a couple weeks ago, managed from basically 4 a.m., a little bit beyond 4 a.m., to 10 a.m., was able to post. And they were paid to do this, and they were definitely not drunk, absolutely not drunk, was able to leave over 600 extremely targeted replies to every reply that was posted under my two videos on 5G. This was a person that was paid. Each comment was quite, well, roughly about 60 to 70% of every comment that this person made to comments that already existed on my 5G videos was extremely detailed. I don't know if you're familiar with this term, and it's kind of unfortunately used in conspiratorial circles. It's called a disinformation agent. There's uh, essentially only three different types of disinformation agents. One is an agitator. Um, you'll actually have a paid agent in a crowd that will actually stir things up if you like want a particular outcome of like you know an, of an angry crowd, but they're calm. You stick in an agitator to make things explode. And another one is called a calmer. Most people have never heard of a calmer before, but a calmer is a type of disinformation agent where people are actually concerned about something. What they'll do is they'll go around kind of like, you know, a congregation. You'll have a preacher go around, like someone died, for example, and they have a funeral. Someone will go around calming everybody, you know, they pat their hands and something. you know, it's okay, it's okay, you know, he's in a better place. This is actually seen in a funeral. I think they actually call them too, they, they call them uh, peace, uh, peace enhancers, they're, they're called several different things, you find them at funerals. Anyway, this person left nearly 600 highly detailed calming uh, replies to every comment in my 5G video. This was not a person that was like up late at night and they decided they wanted to, uh, you know, be helpful, they didn't, you know, they weren't drunk, the comments were uh, intelligible and they were uh, finely composed. This was a person that was paid to literally, like I said, I've never seen anything close to this before. The way that they were posted, the, the, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, nearly 600 comments that were made, I, I removed all of them by the way. <laughs> It, it took quite a while, actually. This was a paid disinformation agent who was replying to every comment on my three videos about 5G technology. They, I will put my life on it right now, look into my eye. If I'm lying, I'm dying. This was a paid person that left calming comments Oh, you've got nothing. There would be the to the order typically, and I read a lot of them because I do read every comment. I didn't read every six hundred, nearly six hundred comments from this person, 
they would be the order like, you have nothing to worry about 4g and 5g technology are perfectly okay it, it would actually also too when people talk about military use or application of 5g technology and i was actually talking about project bazaar and the 5g videos you know how the uh, the military had been testing this technology all the way back into uh, the early 70s i think earlier than that no, it was the 60s and he would leave comments on the order of, well, this is the military would never do something like this because, you know, this would be uh, military applications inside of a uh, inside of a, uh, a network that leaves susceptibility. They were actually I don't know if you ever heard of this before. It's called intelligent poppycock where someone will leave a, uh, a uh, make a statement or leave a reply. Uh, that will seem halfway uh, genuinely uh, intelligent or accurate to, to dissuade somebody from believing in something, which of course is the nature of what a disinf... I've never, like I said, in 6,000 videos, never in 6,000 videos, have I accused anyone or any entity of being a disinformation agent. I've seen so many hundreds of thousands of comments over the years, you know, with 6,000 videos on various topics. I've never even come close to even assuming anything like this. This was a paid for, this person or persons, you could actually have multiple people working under one YouTube account that would leave multiple replies under one account because this account, and I looked it up, you know, it was only generated a couple weeks ago. But you had paid people, paid people, burning the midnight oil. And they were not copy paid. Of the six, nearly 600 comments that were left by this person. Are you listening? Of the nearly 600, not a single one was a duplicate of another comment. When you get spam from someone who's like drunk or whatever in the middle, they like copy paste the same over and over and over again. Boom, 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 boom. YouTube's algorithms see that. These were not that. They knew actually how to hide from YouTube's algorithms for noticing duplicate comments because YouTube's algorithms are designed to look for that. They look for keywords, they look for duplicates. It was brilliant, it was insidious, and it was paid for. I'm telling you right now, it was paid for. No single person could have done that. If they started, and like I said, I went to bed like at 4.20 in the morning, even if they started right when I went to bed because I refreshed the comments before I went to bed. If they started when I went to bed, all the way until I got up at about 10, 20 this morning, they would not have been able to achieve that goal. It had to have been multiple people working under one single account. And of course, multiple accounts exist. I mean, it will certainly come back, even though I was able to remove that. And if they get to the point where they would actually agitate somebody like me, by uh, posting uh, calming disinformation, then what someone like me, if you know, we're not so sharp witted, which I am, you know, fat, bald, and ugly, they're pretty damn smart. What someone like me would typically do if they had a 5G video and they were under attack by disinformation agent, and this is a disinformation agent, they would say, screw it, I'm just gonna turn comments off on this video, you know, I'm just gonna turn it off, which is what most people would do. And here's the kicker. This is the greatest part of this little video that I'm making right now. I looked at 10 other popular recent videos on 5G that actually had substantial views like mine. And guess what? The same person, the exact same person, but it was not the same person. It's the same account name, but it has to be multiple people had posted hundreds of comments on other people's channel. Whether those get removed or not, obviously, is outside of my purview, since they're not my channels. That is not a drunk person. It is not like an angry person, you know, who didn't like my video. It was a paid, working, disinformation agent. No two comments were the same. And roughly 60% of the comments were detailed. They were detailed poppycock, kind of like throwing glitter in someone's eyes. What you could do is, you know, if you find a, you know, a halfway intelligent person, you just throw some glitter and BS in their eyes. And if it dazzles you enough, you know, that will blind you. And then you'll just like give up. It's like, okay, maybe you're right. You know, 
Maybe I was wrong in thinking this was dangerous technology. <laughs> I tell you right now, in this 10 minute video that I just made, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Everything I told you is 100% exactly what happened when I woke up this morning. Never seen it before in countless years and over 6,000 videos on YouTube. This was a paid disinformation agent. I have never come close to making, you know, any sort of tinfoil conspiratorial statements. Like, oh, you know, it's like the men in black are in my driveway or, you know, tinfoil crazy garbage that I, you know, I, I see comments like that and there's countless videos like that and I, I don't play that game. I'm not interested in that garbage. But I can tell you right now what happened in the middle of the night, that was real. 100%. Thanks for watching.